Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and good morning to In Review. We're right at Westminster College Green where we're going to look at some of the news and the reviews of the last week. What a week it has been. Lovely. And I'm joined today by Rosie Blaze. Thank you. Rosie morning Blaise. to you, Silver. Fantastic. Rosie Blaze and all the, Tell us, tell the people who you are, Rosie. My name is Rose Blaze and I'm the author of Truthing Dome, a two part series called The Conception and the Revelation. Back to Silver. Fantastic. Okay, and what we're looking at is some of the big news today. Um, as you can see, Rose and I, by chance, is in yellow, and I'm in a yellow tie. Um, you might have heard that Lord Paddy Ashton, yes. who died um, last night, and uh, I think yesterday, and I uh, just want to give our, um, what should I say, our condolences, know, condolences to him. To the family. To the family, and of course, to the Lib Dem, and of course, yes. the yellow is yes. uh, the color for the Lib Dem yes. party, so like that. What is it when you think about someone passing away, like a, a politician? Paddy Ashdown, I understand, was a very, very reverent politician. Mm. Um, he did a lot for the Liberal Party, and he's going to be sadly missed. Yes, yes. He's and, going to be sadly and missed. And one of the things with Paddy Ashdown, as you say, ex Dem Democrat leader, 877 MP for Uville. Mm. Um, one of the things that I find about Paddy Ashton is that when he comes and he speaks, whatever side of the coin, mm. whatever side of the, the political house. divide, yeah. Yeah. there's a level of respect for him. There are yes. a few MPs who command a level of respect. Yes. And, yes. and Paddy Ashton is one of Was those one persons of them. Yeah. who command that level of respect. Mm. I mean, with us Commons now and with <clears> the punch and do the thing and yeah. the fighting and. Yes, you know, with the pantomime yeah, saga. Pantomime. What, what do you think about oh. that? Yeah. I mean, that. that, that <laughs> I mean, it's just tugging to and fro, isn't it, about Bex Brexit and yeah. um, having winning votes one way or the other. Um, yeah, it was a bit. It's, it's a shame, really, because yeah. it's it's an institution where you know we are here to to establish what is right, what yes. is wrong, to formulate laws and policy. Yes. And you know, the two leaders of either house are fighting mm. and squabbling amongst themselves. And it's and, stupid. and that turns us on to the to the next topic, which was yeah. about. Did Jeremy Corbyn call the Prime Minister yeah. stupid? Well, I, I didn't say it. I don't know. <laughs> well, it was supposedly said that he called her a stupid woman, yeah. but then other members of the House, I know that um, John, is it, is it Ben Crow, ben Crow the, the, the Speaker mm -hmm. of the House, was yeah. saying that he couldn't tell either way when he reviewed. Yeah, yeah, when he reviewed footage, yeah. so... Well, well, the, the bit with, jo with, with uh, John Burko, who's the, yeah. who's the, um, the Speaker of the House, yes. is that he has been accused for the saying the same thing. Same thing, um, exactly. Yeah, for calling a couple of persons <laughs> stupid women <laughs> as well. But I think the issue now is whether or not Corbyn called the yes. Prime Minister stupid woman. Yes, is the he fact, fervently denies it. Yeah, it's the fact that he called yeah. members of the House yes. stupid people. He did say stupid people. He's, he's, yes, that's he what he said, said, he said. I think, yes. I think Corbyn should have just simply said this. I was having a prayer. I was speaking to God. <laughs> you know, because at the end of the day, if you want to have an <laughs> argument or whatever, yeah. like, you yeah. might say yeah. something. Yeah. I didn't hear it. You didn't yeah. speak to me. Yeah. I may say something yeah. about you, which many people do. Yes, many people do. Many people talk about yeah. that. But the fact that he came out and denied yeah. has put him in yeah. yeah. Yeah, people get so heated, don't they? They get yeah. so heated in discussion. Yes. You know, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a pantomime season at the same time. Yes, it is. And, um, it is. Uh, behind you. It's behind you. Somebody behind you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but, oh, but definitely, yeah. um, that is something there which is really concerning. Yes. Um, but the next topic that we had was talking about this, um, the, the Brexit. What's your yeah. take on Brexit? Because we're still on Brexit. It's a really difficult one, isn't it? You know, those, those who argue for out of Brexit, you know, will say, um, um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so... There's the, there's the issue of losing many benefits that you get yeah. from being within Brexit, yeah. financially in terms of employment laws and things like that. And then there's the issue about, you know, the other European countries being broke. Being broke. And, you know, sort of sucking us dry, as it were. Do you know what I mean? So, well, it's £39 billion pounds a one. It's a lot money. of money. It's a lot of money. But then, is being out of it and being isolated as an island the answer? in this day and age. Well, you know, to be honest with you, um, Rose, and I'm mm. sure many people mm. will say, and I'm looking at mm. it on both different sides, yeah. irrespective of saying what my particular yeah. choice is. Many people know my, my views. Yes. Um, but many countries are still alone. But we yes. independently, and yeah, they operate in this yeah. world with its yes. quality of well. and everything. Absolutely. So I personally think that um, the UK, yeah. the United Kingdom, yes. the, the, yes. the, the so-called conqueror, so-called of the world, <laughs> if anything, should yeah. do it alone, and, yes. and but it make you think that if the UK 
cannot deal with a drone yes and <laughs> shutting down an airport for two days yes 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 it begs to ask the question yeah what happened to the release resilience yes of the brits the right dog spirit, yes the church will say yeah we shall not yeah. surrender yeah you think about that yeah i mean my concerns more so around not being able not manufacturing very much so people yeah. are concerned about what it is they're going to produce in order to make our country great again yes you know they don't manufacture anything so it's like what then how are they then going to generate income? I know that, um, you know, um, the, the, the center of the, where we are now, the yes. city, um, generate all their own financial, yeah. their own finances. However, there's still this issue about how do we then sustain ourselves financially in the long term? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, we're reaching to the point whereby, you know, the deal yeah. should have been um, voted in at the House. Okay. Um, right. make the Prime Minister did not do that because... Yes. Um, this felt that she wouldn't have won, but she felt yeah. that she wanted to actually go back to the EU yes. and say to yes. the EU, listen, we need a better deal. Yes. They said she came back without mm -hmm. nothing, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it is early days. Yeah. But there are options here, um, yep. which is one. Yep. The options are one, leaving the EU without a deal. Right. Having another vote in Parliament, which is May, would get three weeks after losing a vote to make a second attempt. Right. Another EU referendum. Yes. And if you do that, that lady from Bristol named Brenda is going to say, yeah. not again. Not, I mean, again. not again. Yeah, because there's a bunch of no confidence, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. And a yeah, general election, yeah. which is a preferred route by yes. Corbyn. Yes. But Corbyn is in some sort of waters now because yeah. guess what? Corbyn said that if he becomes prime minister, he would still move toward Brexit. Now, that yeah. has upset it. Yeah, a lot. Of, his own backbenchers, isn't his it? People, if anything. His own backbenchers, yeah. yeah. But the thing about Brexit is that Brexit wasn't like a party mm. um, um, position of different parties. Mm. It was more across parties. Mm. Right? Mm. It is felt that it was conservative leaning or, mm. or led All because right. of the fact that it was by a conservative government right. that actually yes. um, paved the way when David Cameron Yes. Maybe, yeah? Yes. So many people are saying it's a Tory thing. Yes. Yes. You know? So, but so so therefore, um, you know, she could be removed by her own MPs, yes, new leader, yes, yes. and um, you know, so therefore Again. we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. What do you we think will happen next year? Should she go or should she stay? <sighs> Well, actually, she had a very difficult job to do, to yes. be fair. Yes. This Brexit in or out was never going to be an easy discussion. It was never going to be an easy work to, to, you know, to fulfill, to do, to undertake. Yes. So to be fair to her, she just happens to have been in the hot seat. It yes. could have been anybody. Yes. So, uh, I mean, she's, she's attempting, she's showing goal and spirit. Yes. Um, so we have to give her credit for sticking in there. She's a woman. She's a woman. With well, this is it. We have to give her some credit. Yeah, I mean, you know, she's 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 trying to she's trying to do what is a very difficult job. I, I think to be fair, I think the prime minister has actually um, showed up um, men who are possibly spineless. <laughs> I, I think her, her husband might be saying. Um, Honey, you're real good, man. Yeah, you're, you're, really good. you're, you're <laughs> tough. You know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. And I yeah, think the prime yeah. minister, which is me, yeah. tend to um, um, get cre get better when yeah. her back is against yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She come out swinging and dancing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she came out swinging and dancing. <laughs> We've had quite a few yeah. resilient. I mean, who's? Oh God, Maggie Thatcher, Maggie Thatcher yeah. another very resilient politician yes, yes. and female. Female. So therefore, female. Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a question to you. Should we just have ladies just running the world while the men bicker or so? Well, and incidentally, <laughs> whilst we are here, it's 100 years since women got the vote. Yes. Actually, women over 30 since 1919, and I believe um, over 21 from, yeah. two, from 1928. Yes. So, celebrations all around for women. And that is the reason why the ladies are actually picking up on Corbyn when he said... Yeah. You know, I, I'm not saying the word. I'm just using my lips. So you, can read it, you know, is, is it? Yeah, it's stupid. You know, should be people sort of it. And there are two different ways. Yeah, two different ways to say. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 and yes. So therefore, they were having this um, this sort of situation there, whereby it, it is not right at this time. But however, what can I say? The yeah. nation and many people are saying. Yeah. Well, actually, Corbyn actually said what many people want to say. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I'll let that rest there. Yeah? Yes. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, you might not realize as well, um, Rose is in the, the, the style of the umbrella yes, and I'm in my it's hat. Wet. Because guess what? It's wet, wet, wet here. <laughs> it's raining. Minister, but we say rain or shine, you know. We're here to do a job. Blow. We're going to yes, be here. Yes, we're well, going to be know? consistent. Now, listen, yes. it's so important for yeah. um, 
members of parliament, especially the black members of parliament, yes. to be in that house. Yes, it is, to it represent. Is, it is so important yes. that we have more of them. Yes. Now, Fiona Anasonia, ladies yes. and gentlemen, you might have heard wow. about a, a yeah. black uh, member of parliament mm -hmm. for the Labour Party, who was, mm -hmm. um, Peterborough. Peterborough, mm -hmm. who was mm -hmm. convicted for yeah. um, making false claims and, yes. and lie before the court. Yes. Um, and um, the speeding charges. The speeding charges. Yes. Yes. What do you? What is? What message do you think that is sending to the black community? Is it a resolve to get better or? Oh, they're getting at us. What, what? I don't even know if it's about a message to the house. I think it's about good measure. I mean, come on, really, it happened. Yeah. You shouldn't lie about it. It happened. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got to be responsible. Being a responsible MP in Parliament, representing Peterborough, which, by the way, was a marginal seat. She won by 600. 628 600. votes. Wow. Wow. You know, she really should, really should have just done the right thing yes, yes. and just said what happened happened yes. there's no point denying you know there's police there's speed cameras i mean in this day and age yes. i mean she was a lawyer she's been a lawyer she's been representing since 2017. so there's two strikes then yes, one yeah. from yes. and the bars yes 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 two the yes, house, uh, I think, and it's so sad. Yeah, it's Jen so Corbyn sad. is saying she needs to go. Yes, but, yes. But I think, yes. I think she can. The Conservatives want her out as well, don't course, they? Yeah, because I mean, I understand it's violation. twelve months, isn't it? Something like twelve yeah, it, months within twelve months. If if you get the sentence of twelve months, of twelve months, you need, yeah, you need to go. You need to go. But then she could get anywhere between three months and thirty-eight yes, months. Yes, about three years. Yes. So you know that's still that's still to be. So, yeah, well, that, that still has to be, yeah, we still yeah. have to find, but the jury's out on that one at and, the moment. And, and yeah. what we understand as well is that yeah. uh, the Labour Party will, they have suspended her. Yes, they have. But they she have. can still remain yes. as an independent yes. Yes. MP. Yes, yes, But then... Yes, and then there'll be a by-election, possibly. A by election Won't they in part? Yes, in and Peterborough. Then that will be deemed as maybe a test of Brexit again. Yes. Every election now is being... Yes, because on that particular seat, it was marginalised because most of the people wanted out, didn't they, in Peterborough, yes, I believe? Yes, because out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that, that's going to be interesting, the outcome on that. So, Black MPs yeah. in the house. Yes. Uh, the other day, someone was saying yes. to me when they were talking about um, South Africa, yes. whereby the, the white farmers were complaining that the new president is actually going to take back the land. Right, well, okay. And in the house, okay. they mentioned it. Yes. And somebody in a message to me saying, why don't they talk about all the atrocities towards black people and all yeah. the things? Yeah, apartheid and yeah. for years and years yeah. and years, yeah. But then I said, isn't it the responsibility of the black members of parliament, mm. many of them are Labour, mm. mm. should mm. be standing up mm. in the House, mm. in the House mm. of Commons? Mm. Mm. And speaking of, do you think black MPs are actually speaking up on issues for the black community? Well, they do, but I suppose with issues in South Africa, they're going to see it as far, far away yeah. when you have to consider all of the problems that are happening here in Britain, yeah. you know, around, you know, the austere times that we're living in. Yeah. So, yes, I think people should, mm. um, black MPs should be talking about black, black issues. For example, I'm going to be representing a book review yes. on Media Net Station, yes. and there's issues around publishing houses, publishing 90% 90, 90 of books that are published are by white middle class yes. authors, yes. and there's this issue about, you know, there's this outcry actually about representing ethnic minority and black writers, yes. um, which represent much more of a diverse community that we live in now. Yes. So getting back to the point you're making about yes. whether black MPs should be making more of issues that impact black people, yes, yes I think they should. I think they should. Right, okay. So therefore, our message then to um, black MPs, because I know sometimes white MPs or persons in parliament yeah. will say they wish mm. more black MPs yes, would do black. Yes, yes. Would do black. Because sometimes yes. black MPs sometimes yes. will say I'm not here yeah. on the basis of my colour, but yes. on the basis of merit. Now yes. that's a nice political correct term to say. Yes. But at the end of the day, you are there and people want you to speak up on issues. Right. You know? So yes. our charge is really yes. well, if you're an MP, well, whatever yeah. MP you are, yeah. I mean the Jewish MP will speak yes. up on their issues. The Asian MPs will speak yes. up on the issues. Yes. So it's on the right yes. for black MPs yes. to do that. So we have um so uh, Javid Sajid, yes, the Home Secretary, you know, talking about a vow, uh, a vow to, um, to put right really yeah. what was done in terms of, you know, the immigration and the yes. wind rush yes. and the fact that there were 
Uh, at least 30, 40 years, there were so many decades yeah. of hard working ethnic minorities yeah. in this country, and they're having to then argue to get immigration status, yes. be nationalized, or you know, have their citizen, have their citizenship. It's, yeah. it's, and this is something that black MPs should be taking more on, mm. you know, under, so, because you've got salami, salami. Salami. Yes. Who made that impassioned yes. speech? Even my, sister, right. my sister even yes. sent it to me from Jamaica <laughs> to say, Do you know this guy? You know? Yeah, you know? So, therefore, yeah, I'm know aware. To, to, uh, to MP Lamy, yeah. he always come in like yes, that. Yes. He, he would yes. be quiet and then he'd take up his, <laughs> his sniper <laughs> rifle. <laughs> Well, yeah. you know, and just yeah. so bang, you know, if you yeah. lie down with um, dogs, dogs get, are going to get fleas. Yeah. Uh, so it's possible. So yes. that, that's really powerful. Yes, yeah. it is but, really but powerful. But you mentioned a while ago something about the immigration. Yes. And recently, Sajid yeah. Javid just mentioned some post-Brexit post rules for migrants. Yes, yes. You know, tens of thousands of low-skilled migrants yes. come to the UK for work up to a year on the proposed. Now, yeah, yeah. Windrush, we just came out of the yeah, Windrush thing, yes. which is still yes. still trying to find the, right. um, what should I say, the cap for these level of con um, compensation. Yes. What, what's your take on, on that? On compensation, well, uh, repatriation, yeah, 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 I mean, that's going to be a huge bill. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, what does that look like? We still don't have clarity. All these mm. years, you know, um, since, you know, the Enoch Powell days, yeah. when, you know, it was becoming quite prevalent then about what are black people in this country? Yes. I mean, we're talking about 40, 50 years, and we still don't have any answers in relation yes, to yeah. repatriation yes. or monies funded to black people for services high, rendered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I, it's um again. It's who's going to take up the mantle yeah. on that? Yeah. Should it not be the house as a whole looking yeah. at this, yeah. considering all the contributions? You're talking, you know, black people, and I think you know, black people, especially yeah. in Asians, have yeah. made to this country. Yes. You know, even in the war, if yes. we go back as far as the war, our and, contributions and, 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 in the war. And that's the reason why yeah. um, Patrick Vernon was trying to get someone like Mary Seacole or somebody on the money yeah. on the fifty pound note, yes. trying yes. to say, yes. but then they relegated as it to science. Yes, 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 and the statue, and the statue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, so so talking about, talking about yeah. that, you know, so what I'm understanding is post-Brexit, even if we're out, so we're going to have loads of low, lo, you know, low-paid immigrants coming into the country yeah. and <coughs> taking up jobs that, and, and again, I'll reiterate, taking up jobs that, you know, the people living in this country actually need themselves, yeah. you know, and this could happen right up until 2025, I understand, yes, you know, yes, so yes. these are doors wide open. And then there's the, the, the further, legis you know, white paper, yeah. you know, that could come into, that could come into play where in, and you, we, you and I spoke about this even yes. before we started the interview about having not a cap but a minimum of 30,000 yeah. pounds for you know migrants. for skilled migrants five -year visa, yes. seeking a five-year visa and then what happens then to those on the NHS who get an average salary of 23 to 27 yes. will they be capped or banned from coming well, well the thing about the well is that um, nurses, the, 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 yeah. nurses and teachers yeah. are the ones which are normally yeah. more in demand Midwives, yeah. and they don't yeah. normally get that sort yeah. of figure there Yes, so, they're not going. They're not going to equate under yeah. you know under the new yeah. you know what's being said under the white the, yeah the but white bill. Yeah. The thing about with immigration as well is that yeah. Australians coming to the UK, yeah. different countries coming to the UK. Mm. The UK citizens now will have to pay maybe seven pounds for um, these. Visas. visas to go, yeah, to yeah. Now. and they'll be coming in for free. Those on, in the EU, I understand. Well, the EU, the EU. Oh, is that what it says? It's going to be coming in for free. Yeah, well, when they don't need visas, there's wow. this talk that they won't need wow. visas. To I, come. I think they're trying to make sure it's balanced so that nobody can mm. come into the back door. Yeah, right. Or, or jump the queue, as the prime minister was saying, and yeah. they ripped yeah. rip her apart for saying yeah. Yeah. EU yeah. people jump in the queue, you know. Mm. But there's mm. a lot mm. which is going to mm. be. I mean, mm. I mean, mm. we're just setting the stage here for next year because yeah. we're wrapping up for the end of this year. But there's so much going to be coming through regarding. And the Brexit and yeah. all those sort of things and immigration. Right, right. But think about it this way now. Mm -hmm. This is the UK. Yeah. Were you planning to travel? I plan to travel, yes, yes. Tomorrow? Right? <laughs> no, but I needed. Is it an ISA to go to America? Well, I'm talking about do you have a drone? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, do tell, do tell us, tell us. Yeah, because, tell ladies and gentlemen, you must have heard, just the past few days ago, um, the Gatwick Airport has been locked down yeah. um, because of some drones which were um, spotted. And uh, because of that, and this, uh, the, I think the concern now is about safety. Safety and security. Safety and security. Yeah, yeah. And as yep. a result of that, because if that drone 
actually going to the engine, yeah, it can create. Yes, of course, of course, of yeah. course, yeah, yeah. So, so the UK airport stuff, was yeah. shut down, which, yes, which went through wars yes. with bombs and blitz, and people kept going through the snow. <laughs> and a drone, yeah. so, what do you think? I shut down that? the whole airport. Wow, it's a bit like when it snows in this country. I don't mean oh, to yeah, trivialize yeah, it, yeah. but it's yeah. a bit like when it snows in this country, you know, that you know, roads. Uh, stations, yes. airports, they're all shut down. Yes, yes. And so it's exaggerated, I don't know, I don't want to judge. Well, when they show a little snow in the UK, <laughs> which actually shut down the UK, somebody will always show a picture of Canada. Yeah. Or some places like Alaska, <laughs> where the but, snow is like this, and people are still going to work. But they say they have the resources, they have yeah. those huge blah blah blah, blah that yeah. move ice, and they're accustomed yeah. to it, and it's yeah. part of their daily living. Yeah. And I kind of get that, but here we are, here we are. Maybe yeah. the next time a drone appears, yeah. they'll, they'll kind of localize it and, well, well, and not shut down the whole of England. My daughter says she wants, my daughter <laughs> says she wants a drone. My son whisper, <laughs> I sneak at her Christmas. I, I, I'm wondering if I should do that. I bet both my grandsons a drone. Yeah. Actually, yeah. last month, yes. On my days. Yes, it's, flying it's, about. Yeah. You didn't know that to it. <laughs> no, I don't actually. Okay. Well, anyway, it's not you, it's not you, because they said a 47 year old man and a 50 year old woman from Crawley yeah. are being questioned over multiple drone sightings that brought Gatwick Airport to a wow, standstill. Wow. Um, so, what they're saying, they are questioning them. Yes, yes. And some people are saying they are not like that or whatever. Right, 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 right. Yes, That's yes, okay. yes. So, yeah. I think um, the planes are going now and people are getting their Christmas. Yeah, yes, yes, them, yes, you know? yes, yeah. yes. But to wrap up, um, um, there's been this show called The Long Song. Yes, I've heard about yeah. that TV series. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah Lenny Henry. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and ladies and gentlemen, I actually spent some time and I watched that show. Right, okay. Yeah, the Long okay. Song I haven't written, seen it. To yeah, be fair. The Long Song is written as a memoir by an elderly Jamaican woman. Yes, living yes. Living in early 19th century Jamaica. That's right, the that's right. Of 1868, I think. And it was. the transition to yeah. freedom that took place there. Yes, that's this, right. This tale of a young slave girl, July, mm -hmm. who lives at Amity. Yeah. Yeah. Many people are saying, why another mm -hmm. slave movie, Rose? I don't know. I suppose I don't really watch television, but I, I'm aware of it. I've heard of it. But I suppose my view is, are we kind of, uh, what's the word? Not so much compounding, but like you say, another, an, another slave film. Mm. You know, are we going back to the Jim Crow? Are we kind of compounding and reminding or, us? Reminding us, yeah. Mm. Almost in a subtle, a, way, in a subtle in a subliminal way. Subliminal way. Yeah. It's like you know, let's just keep this going. We'll introduce another. What we should be talking about is creating our own. Creating our own. Kings and queens. Kings and queens. Yes, which we, you know, we are great as a people, and it's probably about changing the whole thinking. Yes. yes yeah? yeah. Moving away from slavery and the impact of slavery, and moving more into talking about greatness, our greatness as a people. It's and we are great it's as a people. Interesting what you said because I watched the film. Yeah. And uh, I'm from Jamaica, yes. and uh, I know the history. Yes. And, uh, yes. I watch Roots. I didn't yeah. feel like killing off anybody. Look at, look, I, heard, I heard that when it talked about the I, I heard that when it showed here. Angela Marr had this very funny mm. series where yeah, she said she when she went into school the next day yeah. in Britain, oh. everybody was saying, if yeah. you've got a white friend, I said, yeah. Sherry, yeah. can you just stay yeah. over there? I just watched this last time. Exactly. You know? And then they, they would say that, you know, they won't let people in like Farrah Khan saying they incite hatred, yes, yes. but they'll reiterate and, and, and just continually yes. bring about these, you know, BBC, yes. isn't it? Isn't it yes. BBC? It is our BBC. Yeah, yeah. Just, just bringing about and, and, and encouraging these, these kinds of things. But, we don't need that, these but, kinds of points. did it not? I watched the film. Yeah. It showed yeah. resilience. Yeah. Yes, yes. It showed the time when the white master was saying, you need to work. And they said no. That was after slavery. They were mm. trying to pull a fast one to mm. say that, mm. hey, guess what? Mm. You're still living on the property. You yeah. still have a house on the property, even though they build the houses, yeah. even though they build the house, yeah. even though they were the one who planted yeah. sugar canes. Yeah. And you still have to yeah. pay rent. Yeah. And after one point, they said yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. And and they went off and they looked for somewhere for themselves to build their own. Yeah. So it showed something the resilience. It showed mm. that after years of the transatlantic slavery, yeah. after years of the um yeah. the the, the put down and the, the mm. abuse, the mm. Jim Crow, mm. Willie mm. Lynch and all those sort of yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still standing, you know? Yeah, we're still yeah. standing. We're still standing. I mean, we're getting some really interesting writers. I mean, obviously, from the book review yes, perspective. Course, yes, yeah. I mean, there's a lady, I read a book more recently by a lady called Khadija Ward. Khadija Ward, yes. Yes, and it that was. That girl boss? That girl boss. But the book she wrote before that, 
Um, oh God, Silver. black, 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 black sterling. Black sterling. She wrote a book with black sterling. Yeah, I didn't forget that because we, spe we speak a lot, so I was waiting for you. To oh yeah, black okay, sterling. black sterling. Yes, because I wrote her she, book launch actually. And she took on. Who did she took on? <laughs> Oh my God! I can't. Yes, that's right. You're the boss. I mean, she wrote a very, very interesting yes. book. And again, for me, it was it was highlighting, you know, that we need to not walk about with our eyes wide shut. Yeah. We need to walk about and think about how we, as a nation of people, can be self-facilitating, yeah. self-financing. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And yes, yeah, a very interesting book. So, so we might look at it on the review one day. Yeah. So therefore, what we should be saying then is this. Yeah. If you're in the film industry, mm. instead of crying out and say, mm. why BBC don't mm. do this, why ITV don't do this, mm. look at yourself yeah, and yeah. say, <coughs> Yeah. Why can't we? Yeah, I can't remember Simone's surname, but there's a young lady who <coughs> went viral on the internet named mm. Simone. I can't remember her name. Annecy, Annecy, her website. Yeah. And um, basically, she's wanting to... Simone Desiree. Simone Desiree. Yeah, yeah she's wanting to set up Anansi, her own TV Anansi station. Anansi that's right, that's Anansi right, Anansi right that's yeah. right. And I've spoken to Simone quite yeah. a few times, yeah. and I'm really proud of the works that she's trying yeah. to do in yeah. bringing about. Yeah. So there is a movement. I find there is a movement now for we as a people it's to be Come more. Listen, look. yeah, more kind I'll of. I'll be the only person, you know, who came out here. Yeah, <laughs> stand right there. Yeah. and said we are here. Yeah, so we don't have to wait for anybody yeah. to make it happen. Yeah, so. Yeah. In America, you've got yeah. the um, Steve Harvey's, yeah, you've got yeah. the opera, yeah. you've got all the yeah. different shows. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. creating a mark. Yes, yes. <laughs> you've got um, the guy who does the, the act like the lady, Tyler Perry. Tyler, Tyler Perry. Perry. Yes, Tyler Perry. I love Tyler Perry. So what I'm trying to say yes, right the there. Mama series. Yeah, yeah Big Mama. Say right there. Yeah. You've got this massive wealth mm -hmm. of, of people out there. Yes, yes. Full yes. of resources. Yes. And do it. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go before we go. Tell us yeah. more about your book club review. Right. So, the book club review is going to be held via Media Net, <coughs> probably following your show, Silverman. And um, it's going to be on a Sunday morning. The thinking is between, say, ten and eleven. We're going to have two different reading groups: one for sort of the adult population, and then one for younger people, um, where young people will come together as a collective group, talking about young people's issues. Um, for example, I wrote a book called Truthingdom. I'm a social worker and I've written books and I've written a two-part series as I said earlier it's about young people written for young people and this is the first book we're going to kick start the show with yes so the adult books we're, we're deciding so sorry I'm going to slow down so we have two groups we have the adult group so I'll have maybe two or three other ladies with me yeah. I'll be hosting the lady the adult show it may be a male as well we need a male we need yeah. to balance it up a bit and the thinking is that we are going to talk about you know, adult literature, yes. black and ethnic minority literature, yes. and um, and then, like I said, in the second part of the alternate week, yes. we're going to have a young people's group, yes. and we're going to be talking about issues that impact young people in the community. Yes. Yes. So that's what's going to happen. So hopefully, this will be coming quickly. This will be coming soon in the new yes. year. Yes. Yes. So yes, we'll be working together, Sibyl. Awesome. That's great. Yes, to build media net, build the station. Awesome. So that's it. That's yeah. great, ladies and gentlemen. So have a happy new year. Have a wonderful Christmas. Yes. And next year is gonna be great. Whatever happens, I predict one thing. My prediction is this. Brexit or no Brexit, we shall overcome. We okay. shall overcome. We shall Brexit overcome so Brexit. well. Am I right? You're absolutely right. right. I'm with you. And I also wish you all a very happy Christmas and a prosperous and bountiful new year. Fantastic. Thank so you. Then, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Bye-bye from us. Bye-bye.